Let's talk about combining love with discernment from Matthew chapter 7, verse 6, where we read this. Do not give what is holy to the dogs, nor cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn and tear you in pieces. In the previous section of the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus warned us against judgmental attitudes and criticism that is often blind to us. Yet following on that, Jesus also said here at Matthew chapter 7, verse 6, do not give what is holy to the dogs, nor cast your pearls before swine. After the warning against the harsh condemnation of others, Jesus then reminded us that he did not mean to imply that the people of his kingdom should suspend all their discernment. After all, they must discern that some good, precious things should not be given to those who will receive them with contempt. We might say that Jesus meant, don't be judgmental, but don't throw out all discernment either. The dogs and the swine mentioned here are often understood as those who are hostile to the kingdom of God and to the message that announces it. Our love for others must never blind us to their hardened rejection of the good news of the kingdom. Yet, we may also see this in the context of the previous words against hypocrites. It may be that in Jesus' mind, the dogs and swine represent hypocritical, judgmental believers. These sinning hypocrites should not be offered the costly pearls that belong to the community of the saints. The commentator William Barclay said that the ancient Christian writing known as the Didache said this, quote, Let no one eat or drink of your Eucharist, that is the Lord's Supper, except those baptized in the name of the Lord. For as regards this, the Lord has said, Do not give that which is holy unto dogs. We can also say that Jesus spoke in the context of correcting another brother or sister. Godly correction is a valuable pearl, though it may sting for a moment. It's a pearl that must not be cast before swine, those who are determined not to receive it. Our pearls of the precious gospel may only confuse those who do not believe, those who are blinded to the truth by the God of this age, as 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4 says, and it may only expose the gospel to their ridicule. Jesus indeed told us to take the gospel all over the world, yet the apostle Paul and his associates, when they saw that certain people were hardened and did not believe, and that those people spoke evil of the way before the multitude, then Paul no longer preached to them. You can find that in Acts chapter 19, verse 9. You see, Paul refused to continue to cast those pearls before those who rejected them. Now, Jesus did not say this in Matthew chapter 7 to discourage us from sharing the gospel. He told us to let our lights shine before the world. Jesus instead said this to call us to discernment and to encourage us to look for prepared hearts, hearts that are ready to receive from God. When we find such open hearts, we can trust that God has already been working upon them. So today, pray for the discernment that Jesus wanted us to have and let others know about the good news that's found in Jesus Christ.